What's up members? Welcome to another lesson. And uh, in this lesson, we're actually going to look at confirmation in our order blocks or in our PIO, you know, in our, in, or in our PIO, which is point of interest. So I'm going to give you an example of what I'm talking about. Let's say price is actually here, creating some liquidity before it pushes to the upside, All right? And then we have identified that this is our lowest low and this is our high, right? And then price started coming back, right? <clears throat> so as the price started coming back, we're going to def to identify our PIO point of interest, like this one. And then let's say this is a varied point of interest. Price is going to come in our point of interest like that. As soon as pri uh, price come in our point of interest, um, it's going to start creating some liquidity. When you go on a smaller time frame, you'll be able to see that. And then as soon as it creates some liquidity, just remember the same concept that we have already said that I've, that I've told whereby whenever there's a liquidity somewhere here, then what the big banks will do, they will sponsor some money to pump in, to, uh, to, 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 to let people think the market is going this way and then pump in more money on the other side, come in and then push to the upside, yeah, right? So they, exactly the same thing is what is gonna happen here. Whenever they start, uh, let me just zoom in so that it makes more sense, All right? All right, so now, they've actually created some sort of liquidity in our PIO. Because as soon as price comes in our PIO, we don't take a trade light away. We wait for the confirmation, this confirmation that I'm telling you to happen. What will happen um, is that when you go on a smaller time frame, probably on a mini time frame, you'll see this, that the price, they will actually come down here. They will actually sponsor a candle to come down here to take out all the liquidity that has been put here, to take out all the stop losses, because the big banks, remember, they don't want you to be winning the way they win. They, they, they think so smart. They want you to be caught in the long side of the market so that they can always take advantage of your money. So as soon as uh, you, you take your trade here and put your stop loss just below here, they'll push the market down just like this. As soon as they, they, as soon as they do that, they also, they, also, they also push the market up, right? Because they also want to take the stop losses that are below here, that are above here. As soon as they do this, they always push the market in their discounted area or one of the cheapest areas where there's a small order block, just a small order block, right? Inside that order block, inside our, our big order block, they always be so and small order block. As soon as that happens, it's what I'm just telling, that was, that was just telling you about, uh, uh, pushing the market to the upside drastically without even chances of creating uh, uh, chances of creating uh, order blocks. Press will just be moving so big, so heavy, so heavy like that, right? Without even creating, uh, just creating imbalances, right? So I'm pretty sure this has actually made sense that price is going to come here and uh, it's going to uh, um, uh, create some liquidity, then being grabbed and then be grabbed on, up, grabbed on the upper side. And then this is exactly where you enter your trade, right? Don't be in a rush to enter your trade. And your stop loss is always just below, below this level of mitigation, always like that. And you take profit is always above always make sure you follow these steps. If you follow what I've just told you before you look for and confirmation, you're, always, you're, going, to, you're, you're going to be right in most cases. So I want to give you an example of uh, this setup on a gold, um, on XAUAD. <clears throat> All 
right? So let me do this, remove everything. And then, yeah, I'm seeing something that can be used. Let's go on a five, okay, fine. Let me just do it on a one hour. I was seeing something. Where is it? I'm seeing something so nice. Where is it? Okay, let me go back on 15. All right. Yeah, here. So let's say, let's now try to analyze this chart, right? In the first place, let's say um, there's, a, there's a liquidity here. This is liquidity, right? Here, liquidity. And then what happens? The big banks, they always push the market to the downside. Why? Because they want to trap you on the long side. Uh, so yeah, this is your highest high. And then we'll put this. Uh, and we see that it has been broken as well by these highs. So um, when I bring this here, you're seeing that our that was where our liquidity was and our liquidity has also been grabbed by this one. People have been switched off, all right? People have been switched off by this one. Stop losses have been taken out. And then what do you do? You identify this zone as your what? As your point of interest, right? This is actually your point of interest. And then what do you see? Market has come in that zone. As soon as market come in that zone, it's actually creating candles inside there, creating candles. As soon as candles create, then there's this, this imbalance is happening, imbalance happening all over, just like this, right? So I want to show you on a smaller time frame, what is going to happen, what has happened here? How, how would you know that price will go up? So let's go on a five minute time frame. All right, I want to show you exactly what I said on a five minute time frame, or you can even go on a one minute time frame. You will see, remember, we said as soon as price come in your point of interest, it's going to create some sort of this, some sort of liquidity. As soon as the liquidity has been created, it's going to be grabbed on the downside, it's going to be grabbed on the upper side, and it's going to come in a smaller PIO and then continue going up, right? So get this straight, whereby there's small liquidity and then there's small liquidity. It's been grabbed on the downside. It's been grabbed on the downside and it's also been grabbed on the upper side. Like struck, this structure has been broken. And then now there's a small PIO where price came and started going to the upside. So in this case, uh, let me just go on a one minute time frame so that we can actually have a, a little bit of a good picture of what's happening there. Where is it? Okay, fine, it's here. Yeah, great. This is it, right? As you can see, um, this is actually the same thing that I explained whereby liquidity will be formed and then it's gonna be grabbed on the downside and then it's gonna be grabbed on the upside and then it's gonna come in the point of interest and then continue going up. When it starts going up, it's going to be so crazy. So in this case, we're gonna put our buy sell here, stop loss, remember we said just beneath, just beneath that, that area, this area, just beneath this area. 
And then our take profit is going to be, let's see where would our take profit be. But our take profit is always going to be crazy, right? So our take profit will be somewhere here where we have a risk to the word of one to 50, right? Why? It's because we have actually looked for our confirmation. So a confirmation is key. Always look for a confirmation because a confirmation will tell you what to do and what not to do, right? Same thing will always happen uh, in a case whereby the market wants to reverse. These are the same things, guys, that I've actually told you in the past classes that you always have to wait for this kind of confirmation for liquidity to be grabbed in both sides. Same thing happened here whereby we are seeing very nice liquidity be grabbed on the upper side, right? And then we are seeing the same liquidity being grabbed on the lower side, right? And then what do you see? This is has been grabbed. And then what do you see? Price is actually coming in your smallest PIO. If you just pay attention and uh, wait for these kind of things to happen, guys, you're going to have a lot of winning trades trees that nobody would even imagine when you're explaining to them or even showing to them. You can hold these trades for even days or two days just to pray out, but the risk to what ratio is always big, is always crazy, and will always help you to level up your trading career. So you can see this, this one is actually a 1 to 22 risk to what ratio. So I've actually talked about the confirmation. So I'll just repeat, when price come in your point of interest, it's going to start uh, creating some sort of liquidity. As soon as it creates liquidity, it's going to grab liquidity on the downside and it's going to grab liquidity on the upper side. As soon as it does that, it's going to come in the, in the discount area in the smallest order block that is there. And then you continue going to the up, upside. Oh, the same thing is going to, be like this, when price come in your point of interest, it's going to create some small liquidity. This liquidity will always not be so big, but small. It always just depends on what is happening. And then it's going to be grabbed and then grabbed on the downside and then you come in the discounted area. As soon as it done, does that, it's going to start moving drastically. So that's how you find a confirmation inside a POI or inside an order block. You don't just enter in a trade that comes in your order block because sometimes some order blocks are not going to be valid and some order blocks are going to be valid. Like for example, this order block, right? If you are taking this order block, you will see that that setup did not happen. But in this order block, this order block, that setup happened, you see? And that is actually the trade that I took last week. and. Uh, this is actually another trade that I took last week as well. The same week, you can see that price actually mitigated this area, took out the liquidity, and then this level whereby this is the mitigation, and then this is the bigger mitigation on the other side. Price came in a discounted area, which is here. And I remember entering the trade somewhere. It was somewhere here. My stop loss is just below this one and the trade moved so crazy to the upside. And that was not just the end. I wanna show you how the trade moved. Moved so big that it actually helped us to level up. So this was our exit point right yeah so i'm pretty sure you guys have followed up how to identify those entries there are actually plenty of trades that we have actually took with the same strategy another example is actually here uh, whereby you if you use it right or you use it in a correct way you're always gonna have winning trades so you see liquidity was being grabbed and liquidity was being, was being grabbed on the other side. As soon as liquidity was grabbed, 
price moved so crazy to the upside, All right? So otherwise, guys, um, feel like uh, we've took the loads and uh, we see this one after liquidity was grabbed, after liquidity was grabbed here and it was grabbed on the upper side and was grabbed on the upper, okay, let me do this was grabbed on the other side. And then what happened next? It actually came in the discounted area where you actually enter your buy. Stop loss just beneath. Your take profit is always crazy. It's always crazy somewhere here. All right. Another good example is this one price mitigated down there, mitigated up there. These are actually your liquidity level where it's been broken. Yeah, liquidity been broken. As soon as it's been broken, it's gonna come in your PIO. That's where you enter your buy, your stop loss just below. Trust me, when you do these things, guys, when you just follow the steps, Make sure you are actually doing the right thing. You're always going to have a lot of winning trades because this is actually the smartest way. The same thing is here. Uh, you see this liquidity been grabbed, right? This is here, has been grabbed here. Okay, has been grabbed here and has been grabbed on the downside. What happened next? price came in your point of interest. As soon as price came in your point of interest, that's where you take a buy. I mean, you take a sell. You take a sell, uh, your point of interest, and then your take profit should be just above, then what do you do? You take in trades, push the market to the downside. That's how smart you're going to be, all right? So I think I've given a lot of examples. I've talked about uh, a lot of things. So <clears throat> now it's your time just to put all these things together. Just uh, make sure you, you, you put them in order one after another. Whenever you're looking at the charts, um, make sure they all pray out. I'll also be back with another video that will explain as in how you can go about everything, put it together, but I would ask you, to also do these things on your own before I come in so that we can do them together. Otherwise, thank you for watching this video. Uh, the next video is just about me putting everything together so that we can see how we can uh, trade the confluences. Otherwise, um, I think I identified uh, there's a certain zone down here that I identified as my POI. Let me just see what's happening. Oh yes, this is actually my POI, point of interest in this case. Yeah, that's my point of interest. I'm waiting for price to come in that zone. As soon as price come in that zone and I'm waiting to Take a, take a buy, right? Yeah. So otherwise guys, see you in the next video. Chill out.